Thank you for joining us on how to make a stockinette stitch. We're going to begin by casting on 10 stitches. So we're going to go a little slow at the beginning. Um, we actually did this video with our how to knit and how to purl video as well as our casting on video. So you may see some similar images. If you haven't had a chance to check out our videos on how to cast on, how to knit, and how to purl, now is a great time to pause this video and do so. Also make sure you subscribe down below and follow us on all of our social media profiles. So we've cast on 10 stitches. To make the stockinette stitch, you're going to first start with uh, a knit stitch. So we're going to knit this entire row. If you're going to do the reverse stockinette stitch, it's a purl. So it's kind of the same thing. You're going to knit one row and purl the next row. If you were going to do the reverse stockinette stitch, it would just be the opposite. Row one is complete. So now we're going to move over to row two. Row two is going to be purl. So we move our needle behind our yarn and we purl our first stitch. Again, we are going to purl every stitch in this row. Row two is complete and we purled every stitch in row two. So let's do a few more rows here. We're going to knit one row, purl the next, knit the following row, purl the next, and just kind of go back and forth. So we're finishing up our purls here. And so this is what the wrong side of the stockinette stitch looks like. And if we flip it over, we can see the stockinette stitch. So if you look, the knit stitches lay flat, definitely lay nice and flat. There's no bumps or ridges. It's a beautiful stitch to have in your repertoire. Make sure to follow the blog link in the description of this video and follow us on all of our social media profiles. Happy crafting!